Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're discussing the Glasuta Original 70s Chronograph in Stainless Steel. You can see and you can purchase this Manufacture Movement Flyback Chronograph from Saxony on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high-resolution images for your desktop, and naturally, complete pricing details for this Galasuta Original 70s Chronograph. Now, I receive many requests for reviews of watches from the mainstream brands Omega, Breitling, Rolex, Patek, Vacheron, Audemars. Absolutely, all the time, people are asking me to review or opine on those models. But I would have to say that the most frequently lodged request that I can rarely honor is to see the vintage collection watches from Glasuta reviewed, the 60s and the 70s. Well, guys, for once, I'm happy to say, it's in my hand, it's on my wrist, and now it's on your channel. So let's talk about the fit and the feel of this watch. As I measure it across the case, sans crown pushers and crown guards, three to nine, it's 40 millimeters. Now when you measure it horn to horn across the case, it's bigger at 50 millimeters, but it's still not big. The watch has a thickness of 14.4 millimeters, but it plays thinner because of the somewhat cupped case back that sinks into your wrist and the domed bezel that allows a tight sleeve to ramp up and over the case. There's also something to be said about the way this distinctly cushion-shaped case is drilled. As you can see, the pivot point of the strap is actually underneath the outermost extremity of the case itself. That is to say, the pivot to pivot span is actually less than the lug to lug span. So the watch wears considerably smaller than 50 millimeters lug to lug. It's more like 48, 47. And you can see the strap completely unconstrained pulls straight down around a smaller wrist. I would say if your wrist is 14 centimeters in circumference, you're still gonna wear this one well. My wrist again was 16 for reference. Now there's a beautiful integration of strap and lug. Regardless of whether you get this watch on the leather strap seen here, the rubber option, or the bracelet, each one has that characteristic of 70s designs in as much as the cushion-shaped case flows seamlessly into the arc of the lug, flows seamlessly into the lines of the strap or bracelet with no daylight showing in between. Handsome and ergonomically superb. Now, the strap is a navy blue, very dark, large rectangular scale alligator leather. You can see the sheer sides. You can also see on the underside a natural grain calf skin that's very supple against the skin, a very substantial folding buckle featuring a couple of different finishes. You can see satin on the top, you can see polish on the side as well as the interior, and you can also see that the strap is set and fixed to the clasp using a screw, so keep that in mind. If you're having this watch sized, ask us for your wrist size to be preset into the clasp, but once buckled, it offers double security and safety against droppage while donning or removing at bedside. Now, the case is beautifully finished. As you can see, there's a contrast between satin and polish, which I always love because it breaks up the monotone form, but there's more to it than that. It's a subtle case because it does have a large, chunky form. Glasuta Original designers create polished bevels, beautiful and subtle micro curves. There are straight-faced grain surfaces and then there are arced surfaces, like these beautifully curving horns at the terminus of the lugs. You can see the strong peripheral character line of the conical bezel, adding a little hard edge of masculinity to the overall profile and providing a graceful transition to the in-house manufactured sunburst blue dial. Now, it's gorgeous. The hands, as well as the diamond-polished dart-style indices for the hours, are white gold, so this is an upscale piece and appointed suitably. You can also see that the white-on blue print is a high contrast that makes legibility easy. Now, the watch has a twin register design that's vintage evocative, but it is a triple register chronograph, and I'll mention it is a flyback chronograph where you have center chronograph seconds, there's a minutes counter at 3 o'clock, and a scrolling 12 hour disc at 12. Small seconds is constant seconds at 9 o'clock with an inset power reserve scale, and I may as well demonstrate that in practice. As you wind the watch, it does have a screw down crown, you'll note that the power reserve scale turns all black with the power reserve amounting to approximately 70 hours, plus or minus 5%. Panorama datum at six o'clock with a beautiful faceted aperture and a monotone double disc system that nicely blends into the tone of the dial. The quick adjustments are performed with the pusher adjuster on the case flank. Luminescent, easy to view at night. Turn it over 
and it's equally appealing. Now this is the Glossuta Original, in-house caliber 3702. You can see it is a traditional column wheel architecture, and you can see the interaction of the crenellated column wheel with the levers of the chronograph. This is the traditional way to build and tune a chronograph. It requires more skill, it is more expensive, but the quality is baked in. This is not a cheaper shuttle style cam chronograph. Column wheel, traditional horology at its best. You can also see that the three-quarter style bridge harks back to the pocket watch golden era of Saxon watch making in the 19th and early 20th centuries, and there is the characteristic double spiral transfer wheel for the winding system, which is a signature of GEO. Now you'll also note a beautiful black polished swan's neck fine adjustment system atop a balance beating away at 28,800 vibrations per hour. If you're wondering, yes, pull the crown out, it does stop the balance, it does hack the system so you can set the watch precisely to a reference time with stop seconds. Watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to start and stop the chronograph. I'm not quite sure if you can discern the lettering just under my thumb, but it says on and off. And there is a small indicator on the case back that cycles between on and off indications as you cycle the chronograph on the opposite side of the dial. A whimsical but much appreciated touch. This type of watch is all about refinement, surprise, and delight features, and Geo over delivers. This is also a refreshingly durable vintage inspired timepiece whereas I wouldn't take most 1970s vintage timepieces in the water put this one on the bracelet or rubber accessory strap available at your Glasuta Original dealer and you can take it down for pretty much any aquatic activities short of diving being 100 meters water resistant. This is a watch that hits on all cylinders that delivers immense feature content in what must be considered a fairly compact package. A phenomenal watch at any price, a tremendous at value at the one we're offering. You can see and you can purchase this watch on our website.